up, YouTube? It's Matt, the Canadian guy that lives in a van that's broken down in Edinburgh. What a beautiful city it is to have broken down in. I um, uh, did a lot of great stand-up this week, but I'm not going to focus on that because I did something that made me feel uh, a little bit closer to home um, with a good friend of mine. I took a stroll down to the west end of Edinburgh. Along the way, I came across uh, my old stomping ground where the van was originally parked when I first moved here. You guys probably get that whenever you... You know, you see a house that you maybe you grew up in, memories flash back. Well, I get that about parking places. And look at that, somebody's already moved in, so it was a great parking place. Around that time, I met uh, probably the, the longest friend I have here in Edinburgh, Angus Coots. A little shout out to Angus there. And he and I decided to go down to Murray Field, this giant sports dome um, that holds 67,000. It's the largest stadium in Scotland, fifth largest in the United Kingdom where the rugby players play and uh, we went right next door to uh, the Murrayfield uh, ice rink. Uh, this holds uh, uh, 3,800 people and uh, it's home of the uh, Murrayfield Racers. What? Yeah, the Murrayfield Racers, the local hockey team. And uh, we went to catch a game and my goodness, what an experience, man. Scotland's got a hockey team. Uh, I saw a guy, it was nice, because, like, I saw a guy, like, show up in a suit, so I'm like, oh, man, it's really cute, you know, they still dress up and whatever, uh, and then Angus is like, oh, no, that's, he didn't dress up, it's because he's coming from his day job. Uh, and what a game to catch, man, we saw the Edinburgh Racers against the Dundee Comets, um, I was looking through this rule book, I'm glad they got all the, they let you know what everything means that the ref's doing, and they also have a place for notes, like it's, uh, like it's a baseball card. Um, I don't think people, people don't know that hockey's too fast to be looking down and, uh, jotting down little notes. Um, but my goodness, it was, man, it was such a good game. It was, it ended up like 5-5, five, five, real tight. And I was, I mean, I don't want to, I didn't want to pick sides, because, like, I'm a fan, you know, both Edinburgh and Dundee booked me quite regular in comedy. Um, but looking through all the stats, it seems like Dundee had, Dundee had, like, some of the top scores. Um, like three or four of the top scores in the uh, in the league. So you know what? You got to go to the underdog. Got to go to the underdog. That's the way. That's the way I roll. Heck of a cheerleading section too at this game. Look at this guy running the whole thing on his own. And no professional sports team is complete without uh, sportscasters. Um, and look at their setup right here. Everything's run by that one plug. You pull that, these guys are out of a job. And not to mention, look at these seats. Look at the stands. Like what, what primary school was this stolen from in the 80s? I don't care what anybody says. Hockey brings out crazy people. And I think it, it's got to be the sport. I'm sure people argue that, oh, like, like football fans are nuts. And yeah, rugby fans are nuts. But like... There's something crazy about a hockey mom. Hockey moms are insane. Like I don't even know if this woman is anybody's mom, but listen, listen to her. Listen to what she listen to what she said. <laughs> I don't even know. Like I'm an avid hockey watcher. I don't even know what she was screaming about. She was. I think she wanted to call for a penalty, and she called the ref an absolute tit. <laughs> she started a chant that went, "You are rubbish." So friggin' British. Um, I think Angus definitely came to the game for me, and I really appreciate you doing that, buddy. Uh, with a couple weeks left until I fly back to Canada for the for the holidays, um, I'm so excited to see the family and especially sit down and watch our favorite team and uh, spending a little time uh, watching some puck with a buddy uh, really made me feel right at home. Talk to you guys next week. Come on, guys.